The Jim and Terry Show, coming to you from the Hobbit Hole Studio. In I'm Washington. Terry. In Washington. In Washington. Well, we're going to take the crowd with us, and we're outside Washington. Well, we're interested in what's going on, the shenanigans in the Congress. Yeah, and there are shenanigans going on in the Congress. Uh, they are censuring. 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 Uh, What's his face? Adam Schiff. A- Adam Schiff. I like Adam Schiff. I think he's very articulate. If you in his were talks. on the right or a GOP, you would use the name calling that Trump gave him and call him <laughs> Pencil Neck. Pencil Neck was Doesn't one have of them. Pencil Neck. I don't understand the, the name calling. S- the second one was Shifty Schiff. Shifty Schiff. Meaning he's stirring up things and he's shifty and you can't quite get a hold of him and he's lurking in the shadows shifty shit. you know what if you don't want to be accused of being a robber then don't rob Ooh. so it, trump if you don't want to have someone dig up your dirt quit don't. piling dirt everywhere i mean it's as simple as that Okay. Try honesty, maybe. Well, for, let's uh, leave Trump out of course, it for we now. Of course, if we went honesty, we'd have to say he doesn't have a clue about it. Well, we're going to, Trump will become the hub, and we're going around the wheel, so the All spokes right. of the wheel. Well, that's what the only we... reason they're doing this to Adam Schiff. Okay, well, we're we're down there, not just to talk about Adam Schiff and the censuring, but to talk about the purpose behind it, which is the impeachment of Donald Trump, which Adam Schiff hap- happened to help steer the first impeachment, and the notion that the Durham report, John Durham was in the, uh, I'm going to say it was the House Intel Committee uh, justifying his report. The report came out several months ago, so this is the follow-up meeting, just like Mueller issued his print report, which we got to see, except most of it was redacted, and then we got to see a little bit more, and then Mueller was called to testify uh, in Congress. And so this is the same kind of treatment. You write a report, you've done your investigation. What do you have to say for yourself? Let's ask questions. And so there's the Republican group asking mm-hmm. questions, and there's the Democrat, all part of the House Intel- Intelligence Committee. Except you know that um, Adam Schiff got kicked off that committee by Kevin McCarthy. Why? for being pencil neck shifty shift that Trump doesn't like. Yeah, I don't know. I don't I I, I had somebody else a friend at, at the beginning I don't know if he feels this way now but he really had a problem with that Adam shift. I, I don't know what my problem is. I like the guy right from day one. You know, I don't care what party parties with he seems an upstanding intelligent articulate man. Okay, let's let's hold that put that aside right. for a minute. We'll get to how you tell fact from fiction and how you read people because that's that's an interesting observation you have i want to get to the facts of um durham giving his testimony and what you heard from republicans is just like the two impeachments which i did follow with a bag of popcorn and a notebook and i am going to suggest that this john durham report was just like those in the sense that the gop attacked um, Robert Mueller, and they denigrated him and his service, and then they defended Trump. And the same thing is happening with the Durham report. The GOP is rah rah, Durham, great report, didn't go far enough. We want more stuff from you. Why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do? It? Why did you stop there? And on the Democratic side, it's this is all a bunch of hogwash. And so you see the two political parties jostling for position over Durham. Durham had to give an account. Mueller had to give an account. So you write a report. Mueller took two years. Durham took four years. Hillary Clinton was investigated for nearly six years and found nothing on Benghazi. And so here's the question. GOP has a history of promising all kinds of dirt. We're going to get to the bottom of this. You're going to pay for this. We know you've done something. We're going to find it. Or as they say about Biden, uh, Biden's corrupt. We know he's corrupt. We're going to find something. He took a bribe, $500,000 he got from somebody. We've got an anonymous source who's going to find it, and they're going to share it with us. And how's that going? Well, you know, it's just like that one finger pointing at you. There's three point pointing back at you. So, you know, the the good old party there, GOP, uh, 
their leader is right off the hinges. And uh, there's, there's. You're speaking of Trump at this point? Yes, but uh, you, you hauled me in last time I brought his name up, but I'm just saying. So they attacked the other leader, and uh, there's no crime against being uh, different, uh, no, no crime against having different policies. So he, if he's committed a crime, I hope they find out, you know, because let it, everybody be equal in, in the government. Uh, Equal before the law, but there is no question really about their leader. So you, they're de- they're just deflecting, and it's the same with uh, again uh, Adam Schiff. They're just deflecting. Everything's a deflection uh, because they're so afraid of their uninformed base, and there's a lot of them. They're so afraid of losing them. They're willing to sell everything for them, and and that's not to be righteously saved. It's to stay in power. And have their positions. It's sad. Uh, I, I really am concerned about the whole country. Sorry, I, I, I go flying off. But. No, 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 no. That's that's fine. I do have some statistics uh, just to compare the two: Mueller and versus Durham. Mueller is two years. Durham is four. Durham had two uh, charges that actually went to trial, and the, he lost both cases. Mueller had thirty-seven indictments, twelve convictions, uh, sixteen Russian entities were indicted. Um, they said they, if they had evidence that the president did not collude and was uh, above these charges, they would have said so. Yeah, they yeah, did yeah. not say so. So there's evidence, just not enough to Convict. meet their standard. Yeah. And that standard happened to be a hand tied behind your back because according to some kind of a letter written by the DOJ, you're not supposed to charge a sitting president. So he couldn't pursue charges Anyway, what are the two charges? Collusion with Russia and obstruction of justice. So again, that's quite a bit of difference between the two reports. Absolutely. And Durham himself said he did not find anything in contrary to Mueller's findings. Yeah, so there you have it. So if it stretched out and if it was uh, Durham's fault he just stretched it out to make money like oh do lawyers do that terry yeah. <laughs> they do yeah do they do now, that you were going to track the trail from trump appointing bill barr to be head of uh, attorney general head of the doj Barr recruiting john durham who had a very good reputation prior to accepting this special uh what are they call them special counselor okay. special counsel so he took that position. He was not uh, given any constraints. He was told, get to the bottom of this, yeah, investigate yeah. the investigators, which is go after the Russia, 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 which on, quote, uh, also, quote, uh, hoax, uh, all mm-hmm. the terms that Trump has to say. Well, if you're meeting with Russians, and that took place in the Trump Towers, if you're meeting with um People who are laundering Russian money, Oleg Deripaska. Oh, some that are spies. If you are accepting, um, what's her name, Maria Butina, who was charged and convicted and went to jail for being a Russian asset. And she's going after the, she's weaseling her way in to influence the NRA, which is a cornerstone. Well, asset's another word for spy. Yes. Just a spy. Yeah, so all this gets really thick. And what's the result of all this? Well, if you watched any of that Durham testimony, you would have seen the same reprise of GOP likes Durham, but he didn't go far enough. He should have jailed somebody somehow because that's what they promised, right? They're going to jail somebody. Somebody's going to go to jail. If you're Ginny Thomas, the wife of the Supreme Court, Clarence Thomas, you're going to say, well, they're already on barges, and Joe Biden's not really Joe Biden. It's a body double doing Jeepers, Joe. I know conspiracy. Uh, oh. Wow. Well, these things go round and round. Anyway. I so how do, we know, how do we know if Trump, How do we know that John Durham's is not a body double? Or, or Adam Schiff or Trump? Maybe they're all somebody's double. Maybe they are. How do I know I'm me? Ah, such uh, qu- philosophical questions we'll have to deal with on another podcast. Let's just say in this uh, regards that the germ report did not overturn anything that Mueller found, did not find anything in contradiction to what Mueller found. Therefore, the charges of collusion stand. They're yeah. charges not proven in did, court. How much did it cost for... Durham's report. 
You got me. I'm going to say pays? a couple of million. Who taxpayers' pays? money always pays for this. Yeah. All right. So taxpayers' money went yeah. to, for Durham right. to do something that didn't need to be done right. and came up with absolutely nothing. Right. Wow. You know? And that's the way, if I could color the whole tenure of the GOP being in charge of the Congress, it's that way. They're investigating things, and they're, they promised they would. So they're doing it, but they're not governing the country. They're not creating legislation or policy to help America. They are simply going after a whole bunch of witches. They're waiting for their king. I think they might be waiting a little while. And well, they might know. have to go visit him. We're going to see what happens, I guess. We are going yeah. to see what happens. That's the Durham Report. I made a wager with a sibling who said, you just wait for John Durham. And I said, I will eat my shirt piece by piece if anything comes out of that John Durham and so and your sibling what's he got to do if he's oh he didn't have to do anything I was uh, the one who was yeah. willing to risk it all with the assurance that I thought I knew more well what to do we really know Jim I just know what's on public record yeah, yeah. I have no secret crystal ball no liar to magically transport me into some heavenly realm and get the secret and bring There's it back. There's a whole other world out there, though, Terry. There is. There's a spiritual realm out there. So yeah. some people say, I'm not sure what the evidence is for that, but I'm willing to sit by the evidence and be convinced by the evidence. And so far, it's Mueller 37, Durham 0, and I rest my case. Maybe and Adam Mueller. Schiff. Adam Schiff, greatest speech I ever heard during the impeachment trial. You might think it's okay, but I don't. Way to go, Adam Schiff. Cheers. Rooting for you. Up here in Forget Canada. the GOP. Yeah, Up here in Canadian, Canada. being a fan of a Democrat. Why not? Bye-bye for now. Bye.